Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. So in this video, we'll see how we can download and install MySQL and MySQL Workbench. So now, first and foremost thing, what you have to do means you need to open your Chrome browser or any browser which you like. So uh, I'm just opening Chrome browser now. Okay, let's this here my Chrome browser has been opened. Now search for MySQL installer. Okay, MySQL installer. That's it. So here you get the first link over here download mysql install so just select this okay so you'll be redirected to the official page of mysql here you'll find two options to download one is this one so msi installer and second one is this so the mb of this I mean, name both are same but the mb over here as you can see it's it is 2.3 and it is 435 so we need to install the second one so in the second one we can able to install workbench as well so just click on download and it will take a few time to download based on your internet speed so as you can see uh, i got a one option over here so you can log in to download or else you can directly download over here there is a direct link so just select this no thanks just start my download so when you click on that your download will be started over here as you can see our download has been completed so we'll open this uh, in folder basically this has been downloaded in my download folder so just double click on this file okay as you can see our practical uh, uh, main window has been opened for mysql installer so here what you need to do uh, okay here the first part in this video you, need, you can select for the developer default or uh, when you are developing uh, actually full style you can this and client only means server only means you can by uh, by default i'll go for the developer one we can able to get plenty of uh, tools and dependencies that we can able to use those tools uh, in our development so just uh, select next so now here here uh, i don't want to select these two products uh, if you want you can select this but as of now i don't require this so just click on next okay so one or more product requirement has to be satisfied so uh, means any of this are not had been installed in my system so let me give yes okay and here this is the most important part over here where you can able to install your mysql server workbench and your router connector everything will be downloaded and let me tell you for the here itself it will take some time to install based on your system speed so let's go and select execute and your uh, download or installation will begin and it will take some time please have some patience okay yeah we'll wait until this gets completed so now as you can see our download has been completed so now we'll click on next and here uh, it will show to configure server router and some sample example so now we can go for next and here this is the default port number for your mysql server if you want to uh, change your port number you can change it over here but as of now we will keep it the default one which is 3306 and this is the development computer and everything will keep it as it is by default so now click on next and here just select the second one use legacy authentication method so second one next and here you need to keep your password your root, uh, root password and i'm telling you if you power this password it is very difficult to uh, what uh, regate your password again so as of now i'll keep it very simple so actually it's not recommended to keep it simple but uh, no don't worry we are uh, we are learning right so one two three four five six seven eight nine i'm keeping like this so one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so as you can see the password strength it is, it is showing as weak obviously it is weak we guess we just gave a number one to nine that's it. if you want to add a new user you can add it over here it's very simple same thing just you need to give a username and a password and as of now i don't want to create any user but you can create uh, it's up to you like uh, you can create plenty of users how many users you want you can create so now click on next and here uh, no need to change anything just give for standard system account itself so uh, click on next and here this will take some time to execute all of this while updating some initialization has to be performed for mysql and just click on execute 
and sometimes what happens is when you are executing this sometimes it will it is throwing or it will throw an error uh, what you can do is you need to stop the installation and uh, into reinstall it but sometimes it is going to happen and uh, sometimes not most of the times uh, and we'll see here uh, it's almost completed work here okay as you can see everything the download has been completed in my case so now click on finish and here the product configuration mysql router and sample example so just click on next and here click on finish and next and here just give a parser which uh, you have gave so i gave us one two three four five six seven eight nine check the connection will be successful because i have entered the wrong uh, correct password if i give any i just remove the one number the connection failed let me give it the connection properly so check connection has been successful click on next and here uh you need to execute this as well so click on execute and it is executing it will take some time as well over here as you can see everything is done so click on finish and here you need to go for the next again and here you can start your mysql workbench after setup and start mysql shell as well so now click on finish and now your, your workbench or your uh, mysql shell will be open so yes we'll wait until this gets open okay this is a shell where you can able to create your let me minimize this workbench unit. This is our shell where you can able to create your queries with your command uh, like uh, creating a database query that you can do. As of now, I am not concentrating. Okay, let me close this. So here workbench has been opened. As you can see, uh, if you want to create user, you can create here as well, like adding a new connection. So by default, we have a root and the port number is 3306. Let me click on this and here uh, you'll get uh, to enter your username and password i mean username will be there which is root and you need to enter your password and should not forget your password it's very difficult to recover that password okay, so one two three four five six seven nine okay okay and the dashboard of mysql workbench will be open now okay everything is set here now click on schemas so by default there are uh, three database will be created suppose if you want to create any database you can create by the user interface over here uh, with, with the help of GUI or you can write the query so for testing purpose whether it has installed or the query is working properly or not so let me create a new database over here and inside the database I uh, will create one simple table for testing so let's say query create database create database uh, let's say test database name is test so let's run this query as you can see uh, the database has been created over here let me refresh as you can see our test database has been created okay so now let me remove this command inside this we don't have any table right so as you can see no tables over here let me create a simple table let's say create table uh table okay so table name will be test table test table okay let's say id of type int 11 size and the name just simple table i'm just giving a simple table over okay like this so there are two ways you can run first thing here you can see uh, like thunder kind of symbol right okay? if you click on this the query will be executed and if you click on control button and enter that will be executed automatically so i'll go for this option now as you can see okay here it is showing an error so uh, i have made any uh, did mistake while creating a tree okay no database has been selected so we have not selected the database so that's why so let's say click on test run this now again okay uh there's a warning over here but don't worry but as you can see let me refresh this again so inside this a uh, test table has been created if i open this as you can see id and name a uh, test table has been created in the database test okay 
so now our mysql workbench has been installed perfectly and it is working perfectly and in the upcoming videos we'll see how we can use this mysql workbench for our project okay in our spring or our full stack anything okay so that's all for this video thank you guys for watching this video if you have any doubts you can uh, drop your comments in the comment section we'll see uh, if we try to solve your error if you are facing so we'll meet you in the in our next video until then take care goodbye bye bye